This is going to be game number one between TNC Predator and Team Unknown. It's going to be a good one. In the bottom lane, we're going to see Gabby being joined by March on the Magnus. All right, Armel's actually getting bodied a little bit here. Torrent not going to connect, but whoa, the first blood finally in the bottom lane, it appears. Tim's get a little overextension. These lanes seem pretty static now that we're these heroes are at higher level. Venomancer might be in trouble. There's a rotation from Lena coming behind him. Might be able to dodge the LSA. We will see, but here comes the Kunkka. LSA will connect and an easy last hit there for the Gyrocopter. Here comes a Cauldron, actually. Armel in a little bit of trouble. Throws the boat back. Lena falls, so Armel gets himself a Constellation kill. He will run right into WIJ. Here comes the X. No LSA to follow. Torrent will connect as well. If Venomancer can get close enough, looks like level 2 Poison Sting. They should be able to secure the kill here. X up. Oh, there's your Poison Gale. Levels it just in case. And this will be another kill here in the top lane. Armel just going to cleave him off the creeps. Securing that one for himself. The cores are pretty much dead even. It is so close. The biggest discrepancy is between the Venomancer and the Tidehunter. Here comes Kunker to the bot lane, though. With the magic damage, they should be able to take out... This Tidehunter, there's the X, Boat easily going to connect, and that's a killing spree now for Armel. Beautiful rotation from him, TPing in the trees there with no vision. There's a good ward here to scout this rotation if the smoke pops. KP doing very well to avoid this. And Grease just getting super low, and in comes Tim's. A Gale here, and they might be able to find a kill. Oh, never mind. He, buy, he has a Mask of Death, so he just buys, so gets tons of health back. There's your Ravage, will connect, and in comes Atune, and the rest of the squad has... Everything available, will o gets dropped, and the Blade Fairy should just chew right through KP. Laguna connects on top of Nature's Prophet, pulls him back in, and they get a second kill. Great rotation, great patience from the side of Unknown. KP, first item, Boots of Travel. All right, super aggressive. WIJ, Torn X, Boat, easily securing the kill there for Armel, and that's now a dominating spree as he picks that one up. As soon as uh, Kunkka picks up like his next big item, which looks like it's going to be BKB, Why he's going to find Prada here inevitable. in the jungle. There's your X, the boat. Just going to be all you need to secure this. That's an easy kill. They just go for a Roche? I guess they can. They have Venomancer. They have Nature's Prophet. Everything they need. Yeah, this is going to fall very quick. There's a BKB on Phantom Assassin as well. They're definitely ready to fight. All right. Roshan gonna come down here pretty sw pretty quick, but the side of Unknown ready to take this fight. Can they get in here in time though? Nature's Prophet ult comes through, stops. Yeah, it just doesn't even matter. It's just gonna fall. They're not gonna commit anything on the side of Unknown. They're just gonna let it ha happen. All right, Gyrocopter X'd up. The Torrent does connect the boat as well. They're gonna bring him down very easily. A couple right clicks. BKB already committed on Gabby, looking for more teleports onto WIJ. If he gets a crit here, easy kill. Doesn't even need it. What are crits for? What's up, Animage? How you doing? Actual Ricky stream, indeed. Top lane here in the jungle. They found the Gyrocopter X right into the boat. This should be an easy kill. One more right click from Gabby, and that's now a dominating spree for himself. 4 0 and 1. Kind of the team fight of TNC quite a bit more, just because they have already the Desolator on the PA. All right, X into Torrent will give them some time. If they can cleave down this Tidehunter, it will be a really good find. They might just try and force the Ravage if possible. Basher gets purged immediately by Kraken Shell. He's just going to die. I like it, the fact that Greedy doesn't use Ravage. You could tell TNC was trying to bait it, say, all right, you either die or you Ravage. He makes the correct decision and dies. If he Ravages there, they can't defend high ground. And then all of T TNC just converge, go right onto your high ground. It's looking real rough here for the side of unknown. At no point have they really been in the lead. Gabby. X up so he can play very aggressive. Looks like he's probably just uh yeah, a bunch of misses thanks to the blinding light. We're gonna turn this into a tier three. Gabby's going in super deep, pops the BKB, finds WIJ, bashes him up, and he's dead. Super easy kill for him, but he may not have BKB, but he has Asia still. And with the rest of his team behind him, we haven't even seen RP get used at all this game. Greedy, X'd up, Prada, nope, crit right through that Blinding Knight, brings him down right away. Looks like they're going to try and converge onto Gabby. The buyback's being pulled out immediately, but Gabby's really far out of the base. They may just be baiting him. Tim's stuck inside the call down. Gyro, BKB already expired. Here comes your Will-O-Wisp. It comes through, but the boat stacks onto Gyrocopter again. Finally, the Ravage gets used, but there's not a lot of damage. All right, we see the Omni Slash. 
doesn't kill anyone but a huge rp takes down two make it three on the run all of unknown a tune almost the sole survivor here a bash from the pa secures the kill and a tide hunter who's sitting in the fountain calls gg this one's over tnc yeah that was a that's that's a rough game if you're uh, unknown for sure TNC has last pick, so this, based on what unknown go, we will see what they do here. Bot lane, they're pinging out WIJ, he's gonna juke to the trees, there's your fire blast. LSA on the mark, Tim's with the, or Gabby with the void. We'll just use the soul siphon to get as much space as possible. Level 2, ooh, Ogre stuck under the tower, takes our last hit, and one more right click from the Sand King, he gets it! There's your first blood, and WIJ baits him with another, pulling them super far away, he's pinging out the top rune! Oh my gosh, KP, what a genius. They're gonna four rune them here. This is just space made. He doesn't care if he dies. Like, he dies, makes tons of space. They get double rune in the top lane. Wow. This is so smart. Oh my. The amount of time you are. It. No. Okay. <laughs> I was like, KP has to die. Like, he has to die. They will TP back to the lane, but he missed an entire creep wave. The whole creep wave went into the tower and died. So he... Yeah, you can't lane against Nightstalker here. As soon as he saw that Sandstorm expire, he's just gonna dive him under tower. 10 more seconds cooling down on Sandstorm. Five on the bro strike, one more void. Doesn't even need to use it. Gabby just clicks him to death. I love this Ring of Basilius. B Bassy, or I'm sorry, Bassy and Phase Boots. It's got six bonus armor. He's super tanky, does tons of damage. Puts out a lot of threat. I love the salve right under the tower. Green's gotta be careful. They have sentry on mark, so they're gonna end dust. They're just gonna they're gonna dive him again. If he's gonna die twice, that's so bad. Oh, not close enough on March. And Armel just taking jungle. Flight of Grey. Welcome to the stream and thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I have follower notifications turned off, so I do appreciate that very much. Armel here getting spirit siphoned up, drops the bolas. Easily secures that kill with another remnant to the high ground. And now they're going to chase on to Bertle. He's going to go under Shrine. going to pop that, try and keep himself alive. There's so much damage between these two. Call down coming out as well. Can they bring down this Gyrocopter? Most likely going to happen. He does nothing left. There's the chains. Another void. Gabby gets himself another kill. And in comes the Death Prophet. Only level three, though. She needs to, she needs to run. She can't fight them. Gabby is way too strong. Fire Blast on the mark. Here comes another void. A slide of... Uh, is it, I mean, there's going to be a void. There it is. Double kill for Gabby. You don't really need it at six, but leveling it for seven to secure a kill, definitely worth it. Void will connect. He's gonna pop. He's just under a sentry, so it doesn't matter. So he's gonna burrow strike to the high ground, try and buy himself a little bit of time. Void uh, cooling down three seconds. Another kill here. This is gonna be a four dominating spreak for Gabby. He is having such a good game. Take a look at net worth. Absolutely top of the charts. Five thousand net worth at nine minutes into the game. RP committed for the runes. They're gonna get all four again, aren't they? March? Well, I hear the ultimate use there. Okay, well, um, Attune managed to find a kill here on the Ogre Magi. Gabby rotating over with the help of the Ember Spirit. They might be able to bring down the Templar Assassin. Very huge kill for them if they can. Greedy Alt rotating over, goes ahead and drops the Sandstorm, but misses the Burrow Strike. Void easily gonna secure that kill, so they get themselves a Sand King, but don't lose. And I think... Are they going to even respond? Do they care on the side of TNC? Not really. Uh, well, I say that, and they're TPing in the night of the Ember Spirit, who has everything available. Goes ahead and pops his double damage rune. They're going to have to back up on the side of Unknown. He will get the bulls off here. Connects onto the Sand King. He's getting pretty low. And there's your Dark Ascension, baby. Gabby looking for more on the hunt. He wants to find the Gyrocopter. There's your Aghanim Scepter. The will o -Wisp comes out. Gonna buy them a little bit of time. A good silence from Death Prophet. Ember Spear on the back line now. Managed to dodging everything he has. Scythus immediately takes down the Keeper of the Light. W.I.J. gonna get his spirits back into survive for the time being. Can they find him though? They should be able to. Armel does so much damage. One right click and a slide of this secures that. Greedy LSA. Gabby secures that. Kill four. Three down so far. They're looking for more. Gyrocopter slowed up. The Aghanims of Night Stalker slows him just enough. Couple more right clicks. Night Stalker finds himself a double kill. Now seven and zero. There's early into the game. 7,000 gold lead. It looks like you don't give Magnus to TNC. That's, that's what it's starting to look like. 
Desolator is giving that much more minus armor. Prada finds Gabby here. But, I mean, you're all alone. You gotta be careful. KP going in with him. If they can find this kill, Urshock should be able to... Yep, one more void. Oh, he misses the void because of the fog? Prada's gonna be fine. KP, now you gotta get out. There's your soul sight. Well, Armel just kills him instead, and they're gonna go for more on the back line. Silence will connect onto both. Does he have no mana for the... Uh, it doesn't matter. They're just going to turn the fight. Just completely run over the side of Unknown. This Armel's Ember Spirit is so far ahead. They're too tanky. The, the Hood of Defiance on KP just keeps them alive through all the damage. And Armel's looking for more. He actually finds Gyro in the mid lane. Slide of Fist and the Searing Chain is going to try and just kite him down here. He has double Remnant as well. This is not a good showing right now for Unknown. Greedy does manage to finish his Veil of Discord, but he's only level 7. You have Vision of the Magnus. This guy's so tanky, though. 1700 health. Hood of Defiance can always convert the pipe as soon as he wants. Armel looking for more, though. A couple right clicks here just obliterates this Keeper Light with this new Desolator. There's nothing you can do. A huge blink reveal from Gabby. Puts the silence on top of Sand King. You're dead. Just gonna burn him down. Double kill for Armel. Oh no, and there's an arcane rune on the Gabby here as well. So this is gonna allow him to use this hunter, or I'm sorry, the dark ascension, and then come right back into it as soon as it expires. Gabby's not happy about that. Do they have a Vlad's? Yeah, they do. Okay, Vladimir's offering, picked up on Lena. They smoke up on two. They do, I think they know this is happening. They don't necessarily know it's happening, but they have a good idea. They did scan near the uh, high ground there. They will run into KP. They stun him. The silence will connect onto two. Wij pops the exorcism, but Roshan already finished. Gabby TP's or blinks right onto the back line, just completely uh, isolating the two supports. No, I mean there's nothing you can do. You can't stop them. They're just gonna take you over this game. They do know she's here. Invis. Do they have sentry? No dust. Tim's. Tim's has a sentry. You ain't getting out this time. Ta only a desolator. Armel picks up that kill. GG is called. They're just done. 17 minutes into the game. Oh my god.